Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another edition of The Desk. I'm your host, JCS, the owner, founder, ruler, Grand Pooba of OCW and its subsidiaries. Listen, discretion is advised, but not really because we're on YouTube now. So I think I have to remain within the confines of not being a really profane person. So I'm going to keep this on bitch PG-13. You know what I'm saying? And I just had me some Chef Boy ID beef ronies i'm all hopped up on some nyquil kids flavored edition and right now we about to pack pipe click yeah natural light because i keep it classy on a tuesday evening mother i can't say that either damn all right basically this is the platform the rant rave bitch be moan all things that encompass ocw and it's the city areas i think i said that but i'll say it again because i like sound saying it. it makes me feel happy anyway um, welcome to the start of the new season. Season, uh, at first I thought it was 14 because I don't know how to count. And if you know, if you're new here, you, you'll, you'll know that I, you know, you'll learn that I can't count. But for those who have been here since, I don't know, day one or day seven or I don't know, whatever, I can't count. So I thought that it was uh, 14 years that we've been doing this, but it's actually 13 years because I don't count 2003 when I was uh, fidgeting around with uh, Excel and PowerPoint and uh, a rudimentary knowledge of HTML. So we'll start at 2004, and that makes 13 years. So the video that I put on Summerside, or no, so I'm sorry, so something to remember, was actually, the, it said 14 years is actually 13 years. So I really screwed that up. I love it. So anyway, and the basic principle of this is to introduce you guys to season uh, 13 of OCW, which is a hybrid fed and to introduce myself to YouTube in some aspect, even though this is episode 100 and I'm going to be 29, whatever. Um, so we do have new people, quite a few, and it's only going to get uh, bigger or worse or however you want to call it. So I wanted to clear things up for folks because um, when you look at OCW from the outside, you think it's daunting and, and difficult. But the reality is it's a lot of moving parts. And the fact is that we've been doing this for 14, which really means 13 years. And most of these people are old adults, basically. There's plenty of fathers and there's plenty of father jokes to be made. Dad jokes, if you will. A lot of 20-somethings. And maybe one one or two uh, youngsters. And when I say youngsters, I mean college kids. Shout out to Cuck Bray. Good for you, buddy. So, uh, just basically, the, the premise of this is to explain a little, little things what we do, introduce the current people that are, have been here since day one or whatever to season 13, and to give a little background. So, we're a hybrid federation. What the hell is a hybrid federation? Glad you asked, and I'm going to tell you right now, because I care about you as a human being. But first, a sippity sip. Ah, delicious. Uh, basically, it means it's a combination of RPN, a.k.a. role-playing, and competition. Now, again, the reason we was created was because if you try to play these games online, as you'll see in some of the videos that I'm going to be posting as I'm doing this, because now I figured this why on YouTube might as well use footage. So there's some footage of me online doing the Mike Gla, uh, what is it, Road to Glory? Lol. As you can see, most of the time, it's kind of really... Huh. Really, really cheesy. So, again, OCW is created to give people a safe haven from the cheese bowls. And we made rules called FPR, which stands for Fair Play Rules. You'll see me hashtagging it every time I can because people need to know. And some people do because, quite frankly, you know, I was going to say that. Oh, I was going to say my well, People have been stealing FPR or trying to take our stuff and take credit for it since, I don't even know, the dawn of time. My thing is, if you like FPR, if you're, if you're aware of it, if you're down with it, you know, you want to use our rules, that's cool, good, because the more people that use our rules, the more likely you are to encounter people who are actually fair and have decent ethics. But at least, just as I mentioned, if you're going to take our stuff, some credit. If you don't, you know, you asshole and your mom ain't raised you right. So, you know, get, get, get correct with God and, and do the right thing. So anyway, so we created FPR to help you know, folks play these games in a somewhat fair and fun and balanced environment. So the purpose of OCW and the Hybrid Federation moniker is just, again, it's kind of like D&D &D for wrestling nerds, more or less, is how you kind of equate it to. I was going to say World of Warcraft, but it's not that expansive, at least not now, back in the day maybe, but not now. So, 
that being said, uh, some rookies have actually asked some questions, trying to get some clarification. So I'll get to that. But before, just a quick follow up with everybody else on the current schedule we have going into 20, well, the 2K18 season. And I'll take you to the thread on our form, OCWFed.com, which basically reads the, the timeline, the launch date. So we're already on, uh, what is it, 10th to 17th. So that means that the game is out for everybody, not just pre-order people, everybody in, the, in the between. So between now and the 21st, we got the roll call. We got FPR testing. We got call reworks if, in case your car needs you know help or whatever. And the signature finisher claims. Now, what that is, signature finisher claims is on Friday, uh, Dupree will post the signature finisher thread in the locker room. And this is when you guys start claiming finishers and signatures and whatnot. Again, the rules will be posted in the, in the Sig Fin thread on how it works. So basically, people who've been here and have established moves, they're going to get the nod before rookie. So just know that in the event that you know, there's a, a conflict of interest. You can talk to the person, but they don't have they don't have to give you or give you the privilege to use, you know, whatever move it is. So just tread, uh, tread lightly. It's never really an issue, but it's good to know just just in case. Um, the roll call, basically what that is, is who has the game, if they're ready to go, uh, contact information, yada, yada, yada. Because for new people, what we do is uh, I don't hold your hand. I don't. I got mortgages, I got uh, ugly women to deal with, I got life, job, etc. So we don't, none of us hold hands. Well, that didn't come out right. Anyway, the point is, I'm not holding your hand and we try to get things done. So you guys have to work together to get your stuff in on time. It's, it seems like it's a lot, but it really isn't. Once you, once you get to the, the flow of things, it's like clockwork. And of course, if you have questions, you can ask. Uh, FPR testing. What this is, is basically depending on your console, PS4, you have Dennis Black, Xbox One. This is where it's a little little tricky. Uh, for Xbox One, currently, I will be testing people based on my availability. Uh, if you need to be tested, uh, you can contact me or you can just give your avails and I'll see if I can uh, help you out. But for the most part, you still have a week. Uh, we can change because today's the 17th. So you have a couple of days, you know, before you get tested. In the meantime, though, you should watch the videos that are posted in the handbook on uh, FPR. It's not it's not too difficult. It's basically just, you know, don't be a dick. And it's pretty much in black and white. But if you need further clarification, not a problem. Just note that for Xbox FPR testing, you will be required to be on the Discord, which pretty much 90 percent of people are. And you'll be required to be in the voice chat. Now, why? Why you want, why you want to hear my voice? Because, A, it's a lot easier for me to tell you, don't do that, instead of typing it like a psychopath. Because I've done it both ways, and it really pisses me off to type to people. So you'll be on Discord. We'll converse. Uh, any issues, I'll let you know. You got any questions, you let me know. But as a precursor, I am not the best person for FPR. Uh, I generally don't play because I own the joint. I, I keep it running. I don't participate because I just I just can't. So... If you have any uh, any specific uh, high level questions, you can reach Nate Ortiz with Dennis Black, Tiberius Dupree, uh, Trash Spider, which you should find on the site, etc. Okay, uh, the twenty fourth, I'm sorry, the twenty second of the October, you have the anniversary card, which will be announced based on the roll call sheet. So, long story short, if you have posted on the roll call sheet that you're good to go. There's a 50-50 chance you will be booked for the anniversary show. We have a couple ideas in mind, but not everyone's going to get booked for the anniversary show. If you are not booked, and especially if you're a rookie, you will have the opportunity to submit content. And this leads into another question that I'll respond to shortly. Uh, on the 24th of October, Riot Car is posted, which is mainly the Xbox show. In addition to PS4 matches, will be on the Xbox show as well. It sounds confusing, but it's really simple when you get down to it. October 25th, the Terminal Card, a.k.a. the PS4 main show, will be posted. And, again, vice versa. Xbox shows do show up on the PS4 show and vice versa. It's not that crazy. And then November 5th, 2017, the 13-14-15, slash because 13 is an uh, unlucky number in America, 14 is an unlucky number in China, and 15-year anniversary will be, uh, will be done. Now... 
the way we handle these shows uh, now actually needs to be explained because before we used to have our own personal hosting and we would host our videos on, on our site and we would also post those videos, uh, you know, for people to see. There's been some changes. So going forward now, OCW will be primarily on Twitch and YouTube, which means our shows will still be on on uh, HTML pages to read the text and whatnot. But uh, the majority of it, like the videos and the movies and stuff, will be on uh, Twitch and YouTube, mainly YouTube for the video archiving features. So that basically means that... Motherfuckers, mom, texting me. Which basically means that... Um, basically that's it youtube and twitch so twitch as we've been doing for the past couple of months the shows will be on um it actually depends uh depending on like if there's a wwe pay-per-view we try to go a little bit earlier so generally the pay-per-views for us are the last sunday of every month and they're usually done anywhere between three and about five o'clock eastern standard time that way the shows can get done pretty quickly uh they're good to watch Everybody joins the, uh, the viewing party, aka the Discord. We talk trash. We have fun. Bing, bang, boom. It's not. Lo- it's not long. We don't. We don't keep you here for seven hours, for five hours, not even three hours, because you know Jesus Christ. Uh, that, that leads us to something else down the line. But for now, just you know, keep it where it's at. And then, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it when it comes to Twitch and YouTube. Twitch will be streaming the weekly and the monthly shows on Twitch. The weeklies will basically just be a set list of matches. If you want the more in-depth experience, you'll be checking out um, uh, the actual site where you have the role plays and the, the stuff that goes along with it. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Oh, yeah. Twitch and YouTube. When it comes to YouTube, you have to... Uh, we've actually gone back and forth with people regarding music because that's the other thing with YouTube. You have to have specific music. So... In order to not get your stuff flagged, people have to go and find out if their stuff is copywritten or not. And it's been a process. Long story short, if you're unsure, let us know. We'll check for you. Uh, Worst case scenario, you take a a little hit um, where it gets co-monetized, which is not a big deal. But for the most part, I would prefer that you use your royalty-free music because it helps the site in general. So to build, build money because money's awesome. Speaking of, I just did an audit of the site and I've been throwing away money left and right. But that, you know, that's what I do because I'm not here to collect a check. I'm not here to make money off you people, despite the fact that I should because it's a, a long running hobby. I just prefer that, you know, it is it is what it is. I, I like doing this and you guys make it easy for me to do it. So as long as that's the case, I'll just take donations when necessary and I'll do little things here and there to make some bread. Because if I make bread, I can actually put it towards the site as I always been doing and it can only get better from here. And people who've been here since 2004 know our ups and downs and our peaks and valleys. So we're, we're you know, we're, we're, we're doing stuff. Okay. Now, before we wrap it up and these new YouTube versions of, of the desk are actually going to be shorter because I'm not trying to keep people. I don't know. It feels weird to be on YouTube and, and just muttering away. So I ain't trying to keep y'all too long. And besides it's sort of Tuesday and I spent most of the goddamn evening helping somebody out, trying to do a favor for people. And that's that. You know what? No good deed goes unpunished, man. Trying to do this after effect nonsense, but nah, that product is nice. It was all good. Oh, speaking of after effects, um, we got some stuff planned. You saw the proof of concept earlier in the week on the Discord. Um, and for the most part, uh, if it works out, it can be done weekly. If it doesn't, it can be done for special events. So either way, it's a W in my book. So it is what it is. So let's get on to the Q&A and then we can be about our business because it's a Tuesday and we got things to do today. So earlier on uh, on the site and the Discord, I asked people if they had any questions. Let me know and I can help answer them because I know it's sometimes a little weird, you know, trying to get information from people. And especially if you're new, people don't want to talk. So. Uh, you know, you can come to me and let me know and uh, give you some advice and, and information. So, uh, the first question is, JCS, what is the best way to get booked in, in any advice or and advice? Okay, it's really easy. It says it in the handbook. I'm not going to say, oh, look, check out the goddamn handbook. Nah, 
truth be told, it is really easy to get booked in OCW. But again, we've been doing it for 13 years or 12 plus years, however you want to call it. And it really boils down to what do you want? OCW is what you make it. For example, uh, there were times when we would rotate uh, the shifts. We would rotate staff. I mean, I'm sorry, not staff, but the roster. Like we would say, okay, hey, uh, Mugen, you're going to have two weeks on, two weeks off, or uh, one week on, one week off. Uh, that changed over the years. Now we kind of just try to book consistently based on output. You got a guy like K. D'Angelo, the basically Lifetime Achievement Award winner for OCW in 2016 and beyond. Shout out to K. D. City. Where he would just say, book me, and we book him. He doesn't care. He just wants to fight, which is fine. But for rookies, booking can be tricky because it's a real slippery slope to just, you know, fight, fight, fight. Lose, win, lose, 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 and then you lose interest, and then you, you flake and you bounce. So the best advice I can give you to get booked is just be transparent in the sense that uh, more than likely you're going to be on both right and turmoil, so you need to be, uh, attent- pay- be attentive. The cards are posted on the site in the front page. They're posted um, on the sidebar of the forum. They're also posted on the bottom of the page. Uh, whenever an event goes out, you'll see on the calendar how, how long you have, and you just have to check to see if you see your name. And if you see your name, that's, you know, you're booked. But to get actually booked, it's really simple. Just do work. The One of the best ways is to do a video, uh, do a role play on a show. Like, for example, the first round of the new season, more than likely, a rookie, a one or two rookies will get booked, but then, you know, some others won't. So... You drop a role play. Or actually, let me let me rewind that. The first show of the season is the anniversary show. And there's a good chance that not many rookies are going to get booked on that because it's the anniversary show. And I'll be honest with you, I don't know you well enough to put you on a pay-per-view right out the gate. You got to show me something. In the past, we used to do something called rookie rushes, which were basically like, we throw four rookies in a match and we, we see what happens. And sometimes they work out. Most of the time they do not because it's basically the blind leading the blind. But with the anniversary show, the, the good thing about that is, is you can just write something and then, hey, he's writing and you get booked. It's very easy. Just just show some work. And then the thing with that is once you're booked and you, you're on your way, know that being new in OCW, you, you will get your ass handed to you. And there's some people, they're fine with that. Other people, it just destroys them mentally and they leave. We have, like I said, we were doing awards earlier today. And, you know, we have everybody, most people on OCW, most of the veterans have a body on them. And when I say a body, I mean they made someone leave. Not intentionally. Most of the time it's not intentional. But just because, like, for example, Spider fought somebody. Match was fine. But basically, Raffle stomped the guy, and the guy basically blocked him on on Xbox Live and summarily quit. You know, guys would come in talking hot hot garbage. They would fight KD. They would quit. Um, you know, one thing you should be mindful of is try whatever whatever character you have. The, the only, one piece of advice I can give you is if you, whatever character you have, don't try to play the monster role like like I am unbeatable. We had unbeatable Matsuda when he joined, and he was beaten 19 times before he got a W. Or maybe not, like six or seven. But, uh, you know, it worked out because that was just a moniker. But we had a guy that basically came in as, like, this super unstoppable Undertaker demon dude, which is fine. You can write that way. It was great, great writing. But then he got his ass kicked by a, a tiny man in a tiger outfit. And then he quit because he got beat up by a tiny man in a tiger outfit. So just know that going in... Try to play your position, and chances are out the box you're going to get your ass kicked, so just be prepared for that. And over time, you'll get better. You got guys like Court Marshall who, you know, pretty decent. Not great, not terrible. And then uh, in June, he got, I mean, basically molested by Big Ed. It was, still, I think there's commentary on it. I'll post it on YouTube. It was sad. It was, it was sad. It was about seven minutes, and it was just, it felt almost like a hate crime. It was really just, just uncomfortable to watch, just a beating. But Court took, took it in stride, didn't care. You know, Big Ed had to laugh about it. We all had to chuckle and we keep it moving. And now, you know, they're a tag team. So the bottom line is just take it, take things in stride. And if you're confused or if you just, you know, 
you want to do something, speak up. That's the best the best way to get anything done is to talk to me. Now, sometimes I'll agree with you. Sometimes I won't. Most times I'll probably tell you to go fuck yourself. Ooh, I used the F word. <laughs> sometimes, it's, yeah, you know. Most of the times I won't, though. But for the most part, the best way to get ahead or to just get anywhere is to just, you know, speak out. Hey, you know, can I... You know, can I do something? Sure. Can I not? You know, if you if I if you can, I'll let you. If not, I'll let you, let you know. Keep it one hundred. We're all adults. It's not a big deal. Um. So yeah, that's pretty much the advice I got to give you when it comes to that. Just ask questions. And I know again, I know it's really confusing, but and I know I'm probably not the best at explaining it right now. But again, I'm a little tipsy, and it's Tuesday. Over time, will probably become easier. But for the most part, there's plenty of people here you can ask and. No one really bites, so you're okay. Um, let's see. Next question. Do, 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 do. Let us know how recording gonna work if you figured it out yet. Excellent question, Cuck. Okay, um, if you notice the camera in the new game, uh, well, so far so good. Like the, there's no splits, uh, in the sense that last year the net code was so trash that. If you're going to fight somebody, you would have what's called a split. In 2K16, we had these splits, and the game would inform you of the split. But in 2K17, the net code was so bad, 2K thought they were slick, and rather than give you the message of a split, more of, like they would, you would get a message if you were hard disconnected. Basically, if someone yanked the cord out, then you would see, hey, so-and-so has been replaced by AI. But in 2017, they made it so that that's the only way that you'd know. Then you would get a split. Now, for the everyday Joe online, split doesn't matter because you continue with the match and you beat the person. Now, for OCW or for any kind of competitive EFED or any EFED in general, splits are a problem because, you know, if you're having a good match and then all of a sudden the guy just starts playing like a weird robot, What's going on? Are you okay? Are you having a stroke? Is that a seizure? What's going on? I'm confused. And then you have a split. Time is wasted, and it just makes people not happy to play. This year, it seems it's been remedied. My 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 uh, conspiracy theory is basically they knew the net code was fugazi, but because it's time to go, they just had the quiet splits, as I call them, because, you know, who's going to know? Most people don't know, but the E-Fetters know, and we didn't like it, so... You stink, and we caught you. This year, for the most part, the splits, uh, they're announced, so time saved. So I say that to say this. Online is pretty decent. Not bad at all. Uh, targeting is way better, which is a bonus. But to the point, if you notice, the camera follows the player screen. So let's say me and I don't know. Mugen are fighting. On my screen, I get knocked out the ring, and I'm by the ramp. In past games, the camera would pan out to follow me. So wherever I was going, it would follow me. In this game, the camera follows me locally. So on my screen, it's following me, but on Mugen's screen, he just sees an arrow that's moving every which way, and he doesn't know what the hell I'm doing. He just sees an arrow moving. Now, my theory on this is because the higher poly counts or whatever, maybe there's a frame issue. Because if you noticed last year, when you go outside the ring, you got disgusting frame loads. I'm talking two to five frames for some at certain angles. I'm thinking they ran into this problem. And the only way to fix it would be to have a, a fixed camera per player. That's that's my theory. You know, prove it wrong. Who Who the hell knows? I don't know. Anyway. So for the most part, this causes a problem when you have two, or I'm sorry, three or more players because you lose the action. You don't know what's going on. If someone hits a finisher or if someone does a big move or someone does anything crazy, you're not going to see it because the camera is on, you know, it's on you. And if you're knocked away, if you're knocked down under the ring, if you're somewhere else, whatever, you're not going to catch any action, which is going to be a problem. So oddly enough, the solution to this is, is twofold. We can have everybody record and then the master recorder spices the videos together. This could ha this could work, but it really is a task and a problem. And again, this is 2017. We try to keep things simple as possible. 
He ain't trying to have people recording and, and you know, splicing together videos and in effect. I mean, some people can do it. I don't, I don't mind, like, especially for big, important matches, maybe. But uh, involving three or more players. But what I think, and what I think will be the true test of people is because I think that especially, like, in in real professional wrestling or professional wrestling, whatever, because, we you know, this is uh, fake professional wrestling and it's real fake professional wrestling whatever you got to know where the camera is and you got to stay with the action so my challenge would be right now and it might not be the it might not be the best course of action but it's something that i want to see if people can adapt to is to know where the camera is aka the arrow and to keep the action near the arrow what does that mean that means you need to have the wherewithal to follow the camera so if you and two others are having a match and one guy gets knocked off from like maybe the top right, you and the guy, you know, you and the other guy who are fighting have to kind of work your way in a fighting capacity near that arrow so that the camera stays with you or, the, the, you know, the action is, is where it needs to be. Can you do it? Who knows? Maybe you can. Maybe you can. It sounds like a challenge. Are you up for the challenge? I don't know. Let me know. Hit me up with some feedback on that. I think it might be interesting to see if it's possible. I think it is. I have faith in you people, but who knows? When the thirst hits, the thirst can never be quenched. Let's see. Next question. When is that Madison Cox appreciation night? Go. Ooh, I am not going to drop two F-bombs, but uh, suck my. Damn. Um, I hate you. Okay. Next question. Bring back the K-Fizz tier. What is K-Fizz? K-Fizz is basically what we call K-Fabe in OCW Fed. K-Fizz is essentially just uh, a tier list of people. We take the entire summation or, or the, the amount of people on the site or the active wrestlers and NPCs and, and, and managers and everybody in between. And even the, you know, legends, whoever, whoever has been around the past couple, like year, maybe two years. We grab, we grab all their uh, their images or whatever, cut them out. We put them on a huge list, you know, S tier to all the way to trash tier. The last time this was done was May 2016, and it caused a bit of an uproar. So for 2017, we can do a K Fizz tier, but we're gonna do it after resolution, which will be, uh, you know, next year. And I'm not gonna be a part of it. I'll put it together based on the results but i'm not gonna i'm not gonna be a part of it because i'm not gonna be a part of that uh, internal strife so i'll leave it at that um let's see uh would be nice if you talked about us prospects of ocw hmm there really isn't much to talk about i don't know you guys as of yet i know that a couple of you have been having dark matches on ps4 but that's about the most I can say right now. And I do know that some of you guys have wrote today. As a matter of fact, I'm on the site. Do, 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 do. Let me see where it's at. Yeah, a couple of you did some role plays on the uh, the promo room section of the site. And that's, you know, we're, that's basically what we can expect. Another, another bit of advice. Use the uh, promo room sparingly. Like, let's say you miss a, a, a ride or a pay-per-view or a turmoil or whatever. Maybe your contact was late. That would be the opportune time to drop a promo. Or if you're trying to build hype and, you know, there's not a lot of time, that would be a good time to use the promo room. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I do know that, again, I said we have, wow. I know within the last, within the last week, we've had a couple people. Wow. Yeah, we got uh, the new bombshell, or what do we call them, divas now? I don't know what we call them. I think we call them bombshells. We got the newest bombshell, Lotus Flojo. We got Malik. See, now, I don't know if it's Malik or Malik. I think it's Malik. Malik Wallace, or Malik Wallace, whatever you want. You got a double Irish man, see y'all, Donald? Uh, who else? You got Stigmata, which is probably one of the oldest dudes on the site, so shout out to him. He's a classic e fighter. I remember, if I'm if I remember correctly, Web TV, son. Jesus Christ. I remember the phone feds, but I wasn't a part of the phone fed. The uh, phone, phone feds back in the day where you leave a message on someone's machine, 800 number. That was an interesting time. Tay Terror, 
don't know who the hell that is. Uh, I know he's on the Discord, I think. But he did, he did drop a role play, so that's cool. Very terrorizing. Randy Sexton, who is mm, just joined today. And shout out to Sham 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 Welcome back, Hammer. So, yeah. It's been 30 minutes. Uh, thank you for listening. Appreciate it. I know it's a little crazy right now. A little ranty, a little rambly. And it is what it is. Over time, we'll develop this a little bit better. Because, again, it's difficult for me not to use profanity. So, a little bit of a mental block. Uh, you can catch us on Twitter. At OCWFed. Is it OCWFed? Yeah. At OCW Fed. That's O C W F E D. You can catch us on Facebook at uh, uh, YouTube. I'm sorry. Whoops. The Jesus Christ. I'm ruining everything. You can catch us on Facebook at the OCW Fed group. Uh, note that it's a private group. It's mo- It's mainly moanly. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's mainly for like uh, longtime alumni. So if you you join and you don't get an invite, you know don't feel off- don't feel offended. Uh, over time, I'll and I'll get people in there it's not a big deal but you know just know that uh on twitch at ocw fed same thing on youtube at ocw fed tv so in closing like subscribe rate on uh you know like us on and subscribe on twitch subscribe on youtube like on twitter add on twitter social media yada 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 you know people let them know they got questions let them know we're trying to reach out to Twitter, YouTube, Twitch, everybody trying to get people on on the on the ship on the board. So, uh, yeah, I don't have anything else to say. I was trying to say something, you know, in the words of Jim Cornette, but I can't even do that. So I'm just gonna be like in the words of Russell Simmons, the immortal Russell Simmons, and Def Comedy Jam. Thank you for coming out, or actually, no, thank you for listening. God bless and good night. That'll do it.